Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to write procedure. Procedures are actually a set of commands which are executed together. Right? So if you know that a certain set of commands are repeated again and again in your program or in your code, then you can write a procedure for that set of commands so that every time you need not to write. So as we have seen earlier, drawing all the polygons are actually similar. So we can write a procedure to draw a polygon. So for that we will define the procedure. The defining the procedure is actually edit double quotes and then the procedure name. So let's take the procedure name as polygon and if I enter I get this window. I have reduced the size of the window. So we get this two polygon is the name of the procedure which we want to define and then end and we have to write everything in between these two lines right we can write any number of commands in between these two lines and whenever you call this procedure you just have to write the name of the procedure which is polygon in this case right so in command line if you type polygon and press the execute button it will automatically execute all these commands so I want to write procedure to draw a polygon. To draw a polygon you have to know the number of sides and you also have to know the length of one side. So I have defined two variables. Variable should be preceded by colon sign. So colon sides and colon length are the two variables of this procedure named polygon. Yes you can write a procedure without these variables also. These variables are actually called the parameters of the procedure. So polygon is the name of the procedure and sides and length these are two parameters of the procedure. So whenever you call this procedure you have to write these two parameters also. And what we have to do in this procedure we have to repeat number of sides time and what we have to repeat that we will write in square brackets. What we have to do is we have to go forward by length right and then what we have to do yes we have to take a right turn by an angle which will be equal to 360 divided by number of sides right so this is the command which we were writing on command line when we learnt how to draw a polygon, right? But there we were writing the number of sides as 3, 4 and then we were writing the length also. And here by writing this procedure, you can give any number of sides and you can draw a polygon of any dimension. You can draw a hexagon of one side equal to 50 points and then you can draw a hexagon of one side equal to 100 also using the same procedure. So for that, uh, I have to save it, save and exit, right? And now we are on command line. And then if I write polygon, first we have to write the number of sides. Let me write 3. And the length of the side, let me write 100. Yes, it draws a triangle, isn't it? Here you can see a triangle. Yes, to see it properly, let's set the pen size as 3 3 okay and again let me draw this polygon with thicker pen size yes and now if I want to draw a square I can draw a square also I just have to change this 3 to 4 and here we got a square and if I change this 4 to 5 I'll get a pentagon right and if I change this 5 to 6, we got a hexagon. And if I change this 6 to 7, what is the name of this polygon? Heptagon. Heptagon, right? And then if I make it 8, it will draw an octagon. And then, yes, you just have to change the number of sides. If I change 8 to 9, Yes, we got a polygon with nine sides, right? So this is the benefit of writing a procedure. You need not to write those repeat, forward or right turn or left turn commands every time. You just 
define a procedure named polygon which was here see this was yes you can define a procedure using this edit also edit option in the file menu if you press this you get this window and here here you will get the list of already defined procedures and if you want to define a new procedure you can write you can type the name of the procedure over here press ok so anyway this was the procedure polygon where the parameters were the number of sides and the length of one side and we have used these two parameters in a repeat command and we got our polygon right so this was the procedure you have to exit by save and exit and if I reset this and then I have written polygon 3 400 so it will draw a polygon of sides 3 which is a triangle where the length of each side is 400 right so if I execute it I get a triangle whose one side is equal to 400 so this is the triangle right and now if I draw one more triangle of each side equal to 300 this will be the triangle and now let me draw a triangle of one side equal to 200 execute so here actually we have three triangles one over another this smallest one is of one side is equal to 200 then we have this middle triangle where the each side is equal to 300 points and then we have this bigger triangle where each side is equal to 400 points so here you have learned how to write procedures right and we have also passed parameters to that procedure from outside